OpenAI is a powerful tool to enable your creativity and to speed up your workflows. But if you do not know how to code, your workflow is still going to be fragmented. You will need to copy paste information to the prompt and back from the prompt to wherever you want to find it. Hence, suboptimal. In this video, you're going to learn how to use OpenAI and Bardeen to optimize your workflows with one click. We're going to take a look at specific automations that you can start using out of the box and how to build your very own ones. So what type of stuff can you do exactly? Check this out. Right here in front of me, I have a LinkedIn profile of Giovanni, but imagine I really do not want to write a personalized email to every single person, but I do want it to sound somewhat personal. For that, we can use OpenAI. We have this automation called create a recruiting email, and all you need to do is specify the position you want to hire for. So let's say machine learning, and let's hit enter. A drafted email was created, and there we have it. So what Bardeen did, it scraped information about Giovanni, it referenced the programming languages that he mentioned in his LinkedIn profile, and asked him if he has availability for a call. Pretty neat. All it takes is one click, and here we have an AI-generated email. But let's look under the hood and try to understand this automation a little bit more. So I'm going to open it in the builder, and here we have the actions that are part of this automation. So first we scrape the main profile, then we scrape the positions, we scrape the skills, and we have all of that information that we're feeding to the OpenAI action. This OpenAI action is called compose a recruiting email, and we're feeding all that information that was copied. Then we're trying to find an email address of Giovanni right there using an integration called Snow. And then finally, we're adding this information to Gmail, the email and the email that was generated by OpenAI over here. So here we have the body of the email and you can specify the subject line of the email when you run the automation. Finally, we're going to be opening up that link that was generated over here to the email so that we can customize it. But if you want to skip this step, you can send the email directly. So that's our demo use case. Here's a quick overview of Bardeen and OpenAI. Bardeen is a workflow automation tool that allows you to integrate other apps to build more complex workflows that you can trigger with one click or automatically in the background. Our integration with OpenAI uses GPT 3.5 and we're going to be integrating the latest versions as we go. The main difference between ChatGPT and GPT 3.5 is the fact that GPT 3.5 doesn't have context from the previously run actions. And like ChatGPT, where you can see the history of previous actions and AI knows what you're talking about. As a Bardeen user, you're going to have access to 10,000 tokens a day from OpenAI. One token is one space separated word that OpenAI outputs. Now that we've covered the fundamentals, let's go ahead and build an OpenAI automation ourselves. In order to build a playbook, you need to click on create playbook button over here and find uh, OpenAI. In the beginning, you're not going to have it integrated, so you can click on this plus icon and find it under all. So you can just type it over here or click on add integration. I already have it added over here. Let's click on OpenAI. And here you see all OpenAI actions. There are a few different categories. First, there are OpenAI actions that compose text. Let's scroll through all of the available actions over here. So here are a few. You can generate an essay by OpenAI. I think this one is really handy. Uh, let's uh, click on this one. So you get to give OpenAI a topic on which to talk about. When we run this automation, I want to specify what I want every single time. And then you can also input the style. It can be a tweet, it can be an email, it can be a research paper, you name it. So this is the style of our um, of the text that will be produced. So an essay is just any type of text that's going to be produced. It can be a Reddit message as well. So here we have the action. We've generated some text with OpenAI and we've given OpenAI these two specifications. Now we need to output the text somewhere. So if you're generating an email, you can add the Gmail action. If you're creating a tweet, you can schedule it right from here. In my case, I'll probably create an automation that uh, generates a research paper. So I'm going to add new action and add a Google Doc. So there we have a doc. We're going to create a new document over here. 
and name also ask for this specific variable every time we run this. Doc main. Okay, there we have it. And then finally, once we've created a new doc, I want to add some information to it. Let's add text to the doc. And here we're going to specify the second action. What this means is that you are linking these two actions together. So here we're creating a document and here we're adding text to a document that we've just created. Finally, we want to get text that was generated by OpenAI from here and I'll put it in this action. I'm going to click on done. I'm going to click on done here again and we're going to call this automation I generate an essay in Google Docs. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to run this automation and let's write an automation about why Sony A7C is better than Sony A7 Mark IV. This is the camera I'm using to record this video. Okay, and the style research paper. Okay, just like this. Finally, I'm going to give a name to our Google Doc, Sony Compare. Okay, let's click on run this automation. OpenAI is going to take in the information, do its magic and create a Google Doc. Okay, there we have the doc, let's view it. All right, this is, this is a proper research paper, let's go. That easy, we can even send this research paper directly to a professor who will be evaluating it with a few clicks. So to recap, the writing actions can create tweets, essays, jokes, questions, they will just create text for you. But there are other actions that OpenAI provides. It can find information in text, which is one of my favorites. I don't have to read through a lot of text, especially if I'm not fully focused, I can just delegate some of those to OpenAI. And here's a really common example. So imagine I've received this email that says, hey, there are four action items to follow up on. What I would usually do is I would copy paste this information to my task management app. In this case, it's ClickUp. So instead, I'm going to launch Bardeen from here and create an automation that's going to extract those action items and add them directly to ClickUp. So let's find that exact action with OpenAI and then it's called action items, get action items retrieved. But I also want to trigger this automation from selecting text and right clicking on it. So the trigger in this case is called when I right click. Okay, so it's going to be a right click automation. You're going to see exactly what this is in a minute. And uh, let's call it to do's from text to click up. Okay, so this is our trigger is going to be visible everywhere where we right click. And then when we select the text and right click on it, it's going to give us access to the text itself. So for the OpenAI action, we need to provide a text and it's going to output action items. I'm going to click on the trigger action and select text. So text from this trigger. Finally, we want to add the ClickUp action. New ClickUp action right here. ClickUp, create new task. And then we're going to add a ClickUp task in the simples, simple to-dos. And what I want to do is I want to add the name of the task Let's click here. And then in this case, it's called description. Description is the name uh, in the current iteration of this command. We're just going to click on done, done again, and call this auto book in this case, because it has a trigger. I'm going to call it add to click up. Okay, so we've saved this automation. Let's enable it. So now it's running. You can toggle it off if you don't want to see this right click option anymore. And let's select this text like this, right click on it. And then here we see the to do's from text to click up. You click on this and that's it. The action is done. And then when we go to click up, here we have these four action items automatically added. How nice is that? Now let's open the builder one more time. Option B, if you're new to Bardeen and see what other actions are available. Open AI. I like this action. It says get entities recognized by OpenAI. All right, so this is our action and we're going to just feed it random text. So ask every time and then it's going to get some text. Let's click on done and try this single action automation. We're going to call it recognize entities. Just like this, save. So here we have that 
War and Peace chapter over here, we're going to select all of the text from over here. Option B shortcut, recognize entities, paste the text over here, and let's run this. Here we have an entity, we have also the type, it can be event, person, organization, time, etc. You can obviously make the automation a little bit more complex and to automatically extract all text from the currently open page and run the command this way. I want to show you a couple more cool automations with text. Let's find the action that will get us answers. So get answers from a paragraph with OpenAI. We're going to feed it information. So we're going to feed it text. And then here you can ask the question. So ask me every time variable, question done. It's going to be a single action automation. We're going to call it get answers from text. All right, save this. Select the text again, copy it into the clipboard. Option B to open Bardeen. Get answers from text, paste the text, and ask our question. What were the dialogue lines from Anna? Those are our questions. Let's run the automation. And here we have the dialogue lines. Looks like she said a couple things. Super neat for research. And the very last type of automation I want to show you is going to summarize the currently open page. It's going to be a little bit more complicated, but it's not rocket science. So here we have that war and peace chapter over here. And I want to get a summary because as you know, war and peace is super long. So I'm going to hit option B and I'm going to create an automation that's going to get uh, HTML from this page. Essentially, uh, we have the currently open page. It has HTML, so the code and the contents of the page. So we're going to extract all of this and then we're going to find text in that HTML code. So let's do text HTML. Okay, convert HTML to text. We're going to use the output of the previous action. Let's grab that value over there. And then finally, we're going to add the OpenAI action, the one that you've been looking for. Summarize text with OpenAI. And we're going to use that text from action two at level, their greater level. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, as you can see, it's not a required variable. We do click on done and click on done again and call it summarize currently opened page. All right. Let's hit save again. And now let's go ahead and run it. Option B and let's click on the card. Boom. There we have an entire chapter of War and Peace summarized in a paragraph. Super nice. Lastly, here's another automation that finds answers, but this time from the internet. I call it AI answers and you can ask questions such as why the sky is blue. Every kid wants to know it. Let's run this. And it seems like the sky appears to be blue because the way sunlight is scattered in the Earth atmosphere. Yes. The next action is going to generate images based on the prompt. We use DALI. Let's click on it and let's create a photorealistic image of Sony A7C on a pink counter. All right, let's run this automation. Okay. The better you are at prompting OpenAI to do things, the better the output will be. In my case, it looks like this. You can actually pipe this exact image directly to places like Notion or Slack or wherever you want it. You can even get it saved to Google Drive automatically. Finally, I want to show you something really cool. We're going to generate code with OpenAI and apply it in the day-to-day. -day. Remember how in the beginning of the video, we tried to recruit Giovanni? Let's try to find more people like him and do some magic. So here on LinkedIn, I'm going to type uh, machine learning engineer. This is what I'm looking for. I'm going to select people. So let's select people. And I'm going to use a really cool scraper automation to get a list of people from here. This automation is called get profiles from currently open LinkedIn page. I want to extract 10 profiles from over here and let's run this. So Bardeen is going to get 10 profiles from the page and create a Google Sheet. Let's click on View. So here we have all of the information already there, which is impressive on its own, but 
what I want to do is I want to email these people. And here I only have full names of folks and I want to have only first names so I can send them an email campaign. So we're going to create a new column that's called first name. And then I need to create a formula to look up people's first names. So I'm going to run this automation that will generate code for a prompt. So we're going to ask it to find first names from a cell in Google Sheets, just like this. And then the code language is Google Sheets formula. Let's run this automation. Boom, there we have the formula generated. Now what I want to do is I want to paste this formula over here and it seems like it tries to look up this value. Whereas in my case, I want to look up the first name of this other column right there. Okay, so just like this, we have all of the first names right there in the spreadsheet. So here's another cool thing that you can do. Let's generate code that can extract all images from the current web page and I'll put it as a string. This is the prompt and the coding language is JavaScript. We're going to be using JavaScript because we're going to paste this information in the console of the browser. You don't need to be super technical for this. So let's just select all of this stuff and then go back to our LinkedIn search. I'm going to hit command option I to open the inspect mode. You can also right click and go inspect if you want to. Now let's scroll to the very bottom of console and then let's paste this code over here. And boom, it looks like we have all of the images. Scroll to the top and here we have all of the images right here, pretty nice. And here is the best part as always. All of the automations that you have seen in this video are available for you out of the box to try out in the link down below. What pre-built OpenAI playbooks do you want to see? Let me know. Until next time, cheers.